What's up, everyone? This is Jared and Nick for What Cheers Beer Reviews, and this time we're tasting Goose Island's Bourbon County brand stout, the Cherry Variation. So Yes, this is very limited. Um, each year, uh, along with Bourbon County brand stout, Goose Island has released um, a coffee variation, and they use different uh, beans each year, and uh, they do a different kind of like f uh, fruit edition, I guess, yeah. uh, for the past few years as well. Last year was uh, the Bramble Rye, uh, you know, blackberries and raspberries aged in rye whiskey. And this year they used whole Michigan cherries yep. aged in uh, rye whiskey barrels. This is, uh, like I said, extremely limited. Just came out, super lucky to get a bottle of it. Yeah, not many places in, in Rhode Island here have this at all. Yeah. So um, it was good, good find. Hoping to be the first people to have this review up. Um, this is 13.7%. ABV, uh, and just like all the other bourbon counties, this can age up to five years, and I think this probably will be a good contender to age if you can get more than one bottle of it. And uh, I guess the last note is that this was bottled exactly a month ago today. Today is 12 12 12. And uh, so, one month in the bottle, and let's get right into the Bourbon County Cherry Rye. So, pouring into the glass, this is pretty much just like the Bourbon County brand stuff, yeah. the original. Pretty dark one, and you can't really see much through it at all. No, very little head. The head, whatever head they was, dissipated almost immediately. Definitely some significant alcohol legs as well. Yeah, I mean, you can it's just around the edges of the glass, you can see almost like a really dark brown, but it's pretty much black. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's what do you expect? It's a Bourbon County variation, so it's going to be pretty much black. Yep, not the head dissipated immediately, and it's kind of just. Tiny bit of lacing, but a little bit. Yeah, not much. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to get into this beer. Me too. Ready? Me too. Let's I'm get ready, a smell. I'm already ready. To do All right, it, let's so. dig in. Let's get a smell. Yep, smells a lot like Bourbon County. It smells a lot like cherries. A lot of cherries. It just it it's it's what you'd it's what you'd want with having a. Fruit edition like that, you really want to jump out, and it does. Um, nice, rich, like nice, r just real rich cherries. Like very black, rich black cherries, like nice ripe, ripe fruit. Yeah, real, like r you know, again, you get that real sense of. Um, it just smells like it's not artificial at all. Obviously, obviously, it's not. It smells very good. Fantastic. A very rich um, aroma. You're getting some the alcohol. You get the typical bourbon county characteristics. You get the alcohol. You get a little bit of that dried fruit notes, some of that mm -hmm. roasted notes from the scot, uh, from the uh, the rye, and the rye so whiskey. Spiciness from the rye. Yep. Um, lots going on in this one, definitely. You get that chocolate. Um, yeah, obviously chocolate the chocolate's the there. As well. So like it has everything bourbon county has, with a real nice punch of the cherry, adding a yeah. lot, of, a lot to the aroma. The cherry and the rye. They work together. Yeah. And I was going to say the temperature because that's going to change this aroma and taste too as we go along. It's kind of um, it's kind of the colder end right yeah. now, I'll say. So it's yep. going to it's got a bit of a chill to it. It smells delicious, guys. So let's get a taste on the Bourbon County Cherry Rye. Cheers! 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 Wow! Wow! What do you think? I haven't blown away. Yeah, right. Man, it's that amazing. is so delicate and a perfect balance of the cherries. You get that real like tartness and sweetness. Yeah. And the spiciness from the rye really oh, comes through. I like that a lot. Wow. I get a little bit of like nice rich kind of dark dark chocolate to it too. Dark chocolate, especially af like after you swallow, you're left with like. A little bit of everything reminds me of chocolate covered cherries. Yeah, it's in, it, in it the does. Best way possible. Um, I think with most cherry flavored anything, really, um, the taste of like medicine is a a fair. This doesn't have that. It's a, like you said, it's not an artificial cherry, so it tastes very fresh. It tastes very real. It's just ripe, ripe cherries, and it blends perfectly with the beer. Thirteen point seven percent. Very well hidden. Very well hidden, just like the original. Some warmth, but that's about it. Some not warming, much. not not unpleasant at all. Not very, um, 
you know, there's not a lot of astringency to it. It's just kind of no. It's rich, but it's not too like it's not clean. They just nope. know how to. They just know how to nope. make a barrel age yeah, stout. They, it really is. They, they know how. To, they have like the best barrel program that no, I can think yeah. of. It's not too sweet. It's not cloying, like you said. It's got a little bit of warmth to it. Leaves a nice spiciness on your tongue. Definitely a little bit of spiciness. A little bit of that cherry, uh, like a ton of cherry to it, but a little bit of that like kind of chocolate notes as well, which I think works perfectly with the rye. Works perfectly with the cherry. Works perfectly with the stout. This is a fantastic dessert beer. Oh yeah, and it's not really too. It doesn't really feel too rich as you're drinking it. It just kind of goes down and goes down. Nice warming left over. Very easily. Yeah, I'm impressed by this one. I mean, I did have the the bramble rye, which I have another bottle of that we'll probably get to review. And I was I I thought that was the best, and this is just up there with it. It has all the elements that you'd want in this beer, you know, plus the regular taste and smells of Bourbon County. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Outstanding, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so we've been sipping on this for you know about a half an hour now, and uh, it's definitely warmed up quite a bit. We're getting a little bit more out of it. What do you think now? Wow. What I mean, what else can we say that hasn't been said? It's um, obviously world class. It's it's room temp now, and all of aromas and flavors are coming out. It's like drinking <laughs> a really nice dessert. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. Absolute chalk covered cherries. This is a sipper. Um, I can definitely see this with like a cigar or something. It's like that. Mm. It's on that level of like mm-hmm. single malt scotch, like nice wines. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much barrel aged beer at its finest. Um, I don't think you're going to find much better than this in the country, you know, if not the world. I, yeah. Um, Goose Island and Firestone Walker have the best barrel programs, in my opinion, that I've ever tasted. And this is no exception, and it's a great, you know, uh, addition to the line of the variations that they've come out with the past couple of years. I'm really excited for next year already. I think last year with the blackberries and raspberries was great. Cherry is great. I wonder what other um, fruits yeah, we'll they'll what they what they'll pull out. And um, what the hell just happened back there? <laughs> Jack's knocking down the luggage. So yeah, I mean, it's just absolutely a perfect barrel aged beer, in my opinion. So guys, the ratings on this, I mean, it's so new. Um, Beer Aviant doesn't actually have a rating on this or number yet. Uh, they have seven ratings, which isn't enough to get a full number. You can imagine it's probably in the 90s somewhere. Rate Beer, I couldn't find it either. You so, know Rate uh, Beer rate beer will be 100. So you're going to get the best, the final rating right here. What right cheers here. ratings? That's, what, all, that's all you need, right? That's all you need is our rating, right? All right. So for me personally... Um, well, I like this one even more than Bourbon County Brand Stout, so there's only one way it could go, and that's up, so I'm going to give this one, well, I gave BCBS 100, so... Yeah, we both did. Might as well give this one 101, right? 101, Break, sure. Breaking the scale. Breaking the barrier. For, for right me, there. what I really liked about this one is, it's just so much flavor. I mean, you get tons of chocolate, like I mentioned earlier, you get that chocolate-covered cherry. Um, it's just crazy. I mean, I didn't get that much chocolate from... The original Bourbon County, and they're definitely not adding chocolate, but the cherry just complements it so well. In your mind, it brings out that flavor, and it's mm-hmm. coming strictly from the grain, which is amazing. So, what do you think of this? You know, I already said what I think, but you know, to add to what Jared said, the spiciness of the rye barrels is yeah, just a perfect complement to the cherries. Adds a whole bunch of chocolate, um, and it's not overly thick to drink at all, and it's not cloyingly sweet. It's just a perfect beer. Nice carbonation, kind of helps it go down nice and easy. Alcohol, you do not taste it whatsoever. You get the nice little heat going down. Perfect beer, guys. If you can get your hands on it, it's $20 $20 on the cheap end. Right around there. On the cheap end, it's $20 a bottle. So get your hands on one, try it fresh. If you can get two, I definitely age one. This is going to age awesome. It'll age with the best of them. Yeah. And see how it evolves, so... With that being said, guys, please let us know what you think of it. I know it just came out, so we'll be dying to know what you guys think as well. And remember, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.